Hello everyone. In this video I'm going to give you a quick rundown of a FLIR thermal camera, a network based M-series M232. actually carries video over a network. Uh, it's going to be connected to a Garmin GPS map 7612. Um, in order to get these two to work together you have to download the latest software from Garmin. And then uh, also you're going to want to, once you get all that done, you're going to want to power up your Garmin first and then turn on your, your FLIR camera. We installed a switch down here just for that so he can turn his Garmin on first then his camera just so the IP address is set correctly. Alright, let's get into it here. First loads up, looks similar to this. Um, there's two ways to view it. Uh, we have a nav FLIR selection and we can also go to uh, video. Either one, we'll just go to video for now. As you can see there is the picture there. Um, your touch screen will work to operate the camera movement up and down um, pinch to zoom uh, all that good stuff goes along with the user interface um, you do have presets over here for different type video settings there's also a touch screen joystick for in case you can't do fine movement with your fingers that'll get you going there on that uh, you zoom in and out over here uh, you can expand the screen so you can see more picture clicking that button there it's going to ask you to exit blah, blah blah yes there's your full picture there to exit you touch the screen hit the back button uh, if you load it up and you don't see picture still what you can do is go to menu go to your source and just verify that you're on the camera itself it'll usually start with an E and then the number for the camera um, just check that in case you don't have a picture. Let's see, I'm going to go ahead and add this icon to his favorites. See, so just hold it down, it'll go to our favorites. That way, when he ever wants to go to it real quickly, he can go right to it. Um, let's get back into it here. Look at some of the other features. Uh, you press down menu, you can go to scan, and that'll scan. You know, you can pick slow, medium, fast. A scan rate to view ahead of you. Um, turn that back off. You can do different colors. Of course, you got your red, your fusion, and on and on here. Um, you can change the scene, day, night. You can freeze the picture by doing that there. Your video setup, you can do full screen, which I showed you earlier. You can just hit the back button to get out of it. You can do the polarity different where white's hot or black's hot depending on what kind of conditions you're in. Um, mirror if you have it mounted where you can rotate it backwards you can use it as a rear view. Your home position say I want the camera to be here for home I pick where I want the home position to be and I hit save here so I can save that position so I'll do that now to show you okay that's now my home position so every time I hit the home button it's going to go back to that exact spot um, here's the scan speed I was telling you about slow medium or fast you can pick that there uh, the width as well you can narrow medium or wide aspect you can stretch it or standard standard is usually the best and you can also name the camera I'll let the customer do that in this case um, also up here by this little star icon you can select that and there's your presets you can manage change them up you know if you want it inverted on one and not the other you can set all that up and save it under a preset and you can manage them here go through there rename them or reset them uh, let's see here I'll show you that the um, nav FLIR is pretty much the same but you actually have your, your chart on the screen as well so there you have it pretty easy straightforward nothing too crazy um, so let's see here yep, that's it guys um, I'll show you home the button here in the center that'll take your camera back to the home position see if I have it out of whack and I want to look real real fast back in front of me 
just hit the home button. Let me go right back to home. But uh, that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. Please uh, like and subscribe for more videos on marine electronics, audio, and installations. All right, folks. I wanted to show you a, a feature I thought was really nice. Um, if you download the latest software for your Garmin 7000 series and you have the uh, network-based FLIR camera system, um, if you download the Active Captain app to your phone and connect to your Wi-Fi on your Garmin 7000 series, then you can actually view the FLIR camera and control it from your phone. So if you're down in the cabin and bad weather or whatever you can always look outside and see what's going on around you with your uh, FLIR camera uh, all the functions work just like it would as if you were at the helm so I think it's worth uh, looking into that and downloading if you don't have it I really think you'll like it I'll let the video play through um, you can just watch and check it out I'm controlling this from my phone in this video just for reference thanks again